Hi Virgo, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot and oracle card reading for all Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Today's reading will be a general reading. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. Let us begin. What advice do you have for Virgo? For the best and highest good of all involved with Virgo. What does Virgo need to know, please? Okay. We will lay out the tarot here, and I am going to draw a Moonology Manifestation Oracle card. And if you don't mind hitting the like button, I do appreciate it because it helps put the reading in the algorithm. Guess what? We had two, so we're going to take them both. Okay. Okay. Current situation, oh, I'm sorry. I don't, I started to do a detailed Celtic cross. All right, you've got the Page of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Hermit, the Six of Pentacles, Justice, the Magician. I like this. The Seven of Wands, there is a bit of conflict to navigate, but I don't see it doing much to you. You have here Virgo, Libra, and you do have Gemini. We have half the reading is Major Arcana. There's a major tipping point. So back to these guys. I like it that these two are so similar in nature and the way that they're depicted. You have New Moon in Cancer, relax. New Moon in Scorpio, go deeper. Okay, so New Moons are when we want to set the intentions. And so for some here, it may be about doing just that, setting the intentions to bring balance in your life. You have the scales of balance twice here. And you do have a bit of conflict to navigate. So even if it's something on what I would consider the mundane level, like you're navigating travel plans and it's been a bit of a, you've had some little setbacks. I don't even want to use that word. That seems too strong of a word, but you've had some things to navigate here or there. I just see you as working through that and moving forward. Now, if you've had some conflict around you, if it's something more than travel plans, isn't that great if that's all we have to deal with? Um, if you do have something with work where you've been kind of carrying the load, it's like feels a bit burdensome. I do feel like you have a change showing up here and it's going to make things a whole lot easier. Now, in terms of relationships, you have know thyself twice here and it's on a very deep level. Remember when we said go deeper with that new moon in Scorpio? There's something about this. So using you know, whatever spare time you do have to go and meditate, to quiet things down, even to do things that uplift your energy, uplift your spirit and bring you into a place where you feel like everything's going to be okay. There's really nothing to worry about here because there isn't. So in terms of relationship, you are definitely attracting someone here who's a soulmate. You have a perfect match coming in. So if you have been single for a while, or even if you went through something like a divorce, with the justice card back here and there's been some sort of a legal separation. Even with a legal separation, I'd say you have, this is, for some, this is gonna be a reconciliation. But I do feel like it needs to be a relationship that is at that level. This is not, you know, somebody I went out to coffee with twice, okay? This is serious. So I do feel like you have an uplifting, you have this movement that brings in a lot of, what I feel like is relief. It feels like relief to me. So. With that, um, you have a page of wands showing up, which I like. The page of wands is an exhilarating energy and a new person. So if it's in the workplace, you may have somebody or it may be actually a group of people in this case that begin and it sure does lighten the load. Even if you have to do some training, you're not going to have all the chaos and what feels like heavy always having to navigate, negotiate, and that sort of thing. This is an uplifter. It's also about taking action. So if you're saying, I don't see my current job getting any better, with the magician, it may be time to go out there in, in, and the page of wands here to put yourself out there in the professional world, okay? Because with this too, the energy is almost intoxicating where you want to be around this person. So especially too in an interview, you'll walk out of the interview if you go into it as a page of wands and people will say, what a go-getter. That's somebody I definitely want to work with. They seem like someone who would get a lot done. They have a great attitude, etc. Okay, so this is really a great energy for that as well. So with this five of wands, there is a bit of chaos around you. It also can be competition. So if you are in the housing market and you've had challenges, I just see this as you resolving challenges. Fives are about change and sevens are success. So I feel like whatever this is, you're on the right path with it. Now I mentioned 
um, the uh, signs that we have here. We technically have all the elements with the magician, but then aside from that, you just have earth and fire. So it will be a time to expand, but it's also a time that will bring stability to your life. So whatever this five of wands represents, this is somewhat, to some extent, I hear child's play. So it may be something that's very easily resolved. And I... I do feel like either way, it is it is time to take action. And so if you feel like you've had like this dam that's just spurting and breaking open in all areas and you're putting your finger over the holes, right? You're standing there with your finger over these dripping leaks. I feel like you're going to be coming out of that where it's not going to be nearly as much what feels like damage control, especially if it's a work-related thing where it's like your short staff. Now, if it's something in your personal life, like you've had a series of mechanical failures, I don't want to get into too much specificity. It always makes me nervous when we start talking about this stuff because I don't I don't want to manifest it in my world, but I do feel like if that's the case, you're going to get that behind you. Abraham Hicks um, has talked about why people think bad things come in threes. And she said what she, they believe, I should say they, they believe, is that by the time the third event happens, the person is so ready for a new change of energy that they actually are changing their own energy. And those who have the belief that bad things happen in threes truly believe that. So they can't possibly have another thing because that would throw off their whole belief system. So we may say, well, if one thing happens, I'm going to change my energy and change the environment around me. So with the hermit energy, you and your own energy, it's wisdom. And so I do feel like with this, you're going to walk forward no matter what it is. It is a card, though, of guidance, of higher wisdom. And it's also a, a, a time of accomplishment. So I do feel like whatever it is that you've kind of had to deal with here, you're coming out of it on the other side here. And the hermit, too, though, is about recharging your spiritual battery. So in the hermit energy, like we were talking about earlier, it is a time to go within. And you may fi might find, too, if there are some conflicts that you do better if you give yourself a bit of time by yourself. You know, if there's something you can do, if it's during the work day or even if it's, you know, after work to run an errand or just get yourself back to center because this is deep. And it also will be a time where you really grow to understand yourself more. Now, I mentioned if you have been single or you're in a some kind of a, a transition in a really long-term relationship, I feel like this is going to be helpful. For those of you who want reconciliation, this is going to bring deeper understanding and much better communication. If you feel like communication was really the Achilles heel in the relationship. Well, you got another six here with the six of pentacles. This does bring in balance. So like I said, I feel like if you've been overworked, you're going to have the acknowledgement. Now, for some of you, it's just going to be easier. If it's employees who get hired, I feel like it's going to make things much easier. But if you end up leaving to go to a new job, I feel like you have less work and more pay coming in. So I do feel like in a current job, you may not see a raise there. I just feel like they're going to hire more people. So it's up to you what you really desire. If you say, I'm okay with that because then it makes my own job manageable and I feel I get paid a fair amount as it is. But others of you, I do feel like if you move on, you are going to get more money out of it. So income's justice. And as we know, we've talked about this a bit. It is about, too, for some, putting your foot down, okay? And so some of you, you may find that if you've taken on a lot of extra responsibilities, you may sort of slowly let go of those with this because justice helps us set boundaries. And with this, it brings balance like we were talking about. It's also a card of choices. So I do feel like if you feel backed into a corner like you've been overwhelmed at work or some other area of your life, I do feel like with this, as you move forward, you're going to look at that differently. You're going to make choices differently so that it doesn't have a repeat. We don't need a 2.0 to whatever these, that fiery energy is. I mean, it's great that you have the seven of wands because it does show a successful outcome, but it's like, who wants to keep navigating that and be on the edge of their seat all the time? Am I going to be able to work this through? The answer is yes, but it does feel like it's a, a cycle you're not looking to reinvent. So the energy of the magician brings in transformation. Now, if you do anything with teaching, if especially if it's at a job, and you have hired new people, I do feel like they're going to respect you. And I, like I said, I feel like this brings a lot of peace to your environment, this sort of taking command energy. 
whatever it is you're asking about, like we said, set your intentions. We just had a new moon in Capricorn not too long ago. So that was a good time to set the intentions. But as you as you continue forward, there will be plenty of new moons every cycle here. They come 12 times a year. So you'll be in this energy of the magician where you can bring heaven to earth is really what they're trying to tell you. So pay attention to your feelings and notice when those things, when things seem to go your way. When things seem to start to let up, it's like I get like almost blizzardous conditions and then the letting up is what it feels like where you go, oh, thank God there's not another snowflake in sight. I can get myself back on track here. So I feel like with the relationship too, though, this is definitely one, like I said, where you have communication restored. And if it's a new relationship, I feel like the communication and the flow will be there right from the beginning. It is bringing in someone who gets you. It's someone who pleases you is what I hear. Somebody who gives you some delight. It's an energy, a high level energy. So that seven of wands, again, we, we say don't quit five minutes before the miracle happens. And in this case, I don't feel like it's, it's pushing against as much as it is navigating some difficulties. But like I said, I do see you as re resolving that. And it's just about continuing to continue here. So I do feel like you're coming out of this, though. Those of you that are like, I am so sick of navigating challenges. Because with the lovers, you're coming into a path where you will be flourishing. That's what this is all about. Now, this is to the Archangel Raphael. He, he guards and protects travelers. So those of you that it's a travel issue, I feel like you're going to be on easy street. Once it gets resolved, you won't have another snafu. Those of you that it's about relationships, though, you're bringing in a match. And with this, too, it is a card of love. It is a card of beauty and harmony and really feeling like you're being supported. So if you haven't had that in a while, get ready because it's coming in for you, Virgo. All right, what else does Virgo need to know, please? Advice, please, for Virgo. Messages, please, for Virgo. Big happy changes are on the way. We love that card. And you've got romance. Okay, I may have been a little light on the relationship part of the reading. So for somebody, you have a reconnection, but you have a reconnection to romance, whether a new person or somebody you're looking to get back together with. You have helpful people coming in. I mentioned that. I do feel that very strongly. Within the next few weeks, they say, and you've got a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Virgo. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.